He's always there, you know, he's gonna love you unconditionally. And lead us not into temptation. Look, put you in your heart, bro. I don't do no rituals. Go ahead. It's, it's not repent for my sins. For my sins. Faith in him and trust in him. God is calling out to you right now, bro. Can I pray for you? Man, y'all already know we're gonna continue preaching the word of God because I know what God has done to our lives. For God is the Almighty, He's the King. Evangelize souls as usual, you know what I'm saying? To rebuke any demonic presence that is holding them down. Amen. So what do you gotta say, man? Y'all gotta hear from Luigi, the righteous rapper. Hey man, I'm feeling really righteous right now, you know? I'm feeling amazing, you know? Fasting, feeding myself with the word. We better, you know? Get right. What much has Jesus done to your life? You good, bro? But you don't believe in Jesus? Bro, look, before I had said my girl, bro, she was atheist. She didn't believe in God, bro. Like, she, she didn't believe in God, bro. But I'm telling you, bro, I, I could do a prayer for you and, and you'll be delivered to God, bro. I'm trying to cast those demons out in Jesus' name, bro. Alright, God bless you, bro. I want to let you know that Jesus loves you, bro. Hey, man, excuse me? Excuse me? No, I'm not asking for money, bro. I'm asking if you love Jesus, bro, because Jesus loves you, bro. You got something more worth more than money. He said money. You already know everything in this world is temporary, bro. You know, what would you rather have? Five million dollars? Or five, five minutes, minutes with, with God. God. What would you rather have? Yeah, Me? Yeah. I'll have all that time with Lord Father, man. Because I know what he's done in my life. And I'll give him a big thanks. I go that. <laughs> our Lord Jesus Christ is coming back soon. We have to have our faith in him and be firm in faith. So we can be saved. Because this world is temporary. All these things of the world will not please you. They won't please your heart. They will still have you feeling empty. There will still be a void there. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus can fill that void. Jesus can give you all the peace, the love, and joy that you need. Seek him Appreciate and repent from his world. You need this? Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Romans 8 verse 18 says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. The struggles and obstacles you're going through right now don't compare to the peace and joy God will bring you in the future. It's far more powerful than what you're feeling now. God is the Almighty. He wants an intimate relationship with you. Can you put your hand in your heart real quick and repeat after me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Excuse me. Um, like, would you have a quick time about the Word of God, bro? Because I feel like the Holy Spirit is just guiding me to you. I mean, I just, uh, I used to go to a Catholic school, but Catholic I, school? I still go to, I still, still go to church, but I'm yeah. just not a avid believer. Because God pulled me out of addiction. Yeah. Now He's He's anointed us like with the Holy Spirit, and now we're like we're just spreading the Word of God. Our Father, Our Father. who art in heaven. Who art in heaven. Amen. Amen. Appreciate yeah, God bless you, bro. Just, just know he loves you, bro. Continue seeking him every day, bro, because he's always there. You know, he's going to love you unconditionally, bro. His grace, bro, is beautiful. It's beautiful. So I'm here just preaching the word of God. Like, are you busy, bro? A little bit on the phone. And... Like, what? Like, what much has Jesus done to you, bro? Like, put you in your heart, bro. I don't do no rituals. Go ahead. It's, it's not, not, it's not a ritual, bro. A God, no, look, bro, I used to be really addicted into drugs, bro, uh -huh. and God pulled me out of that stuff, bro. And now we're here evangelizing souls, preaching the good news. Go ahead, go ahead. Remember, just put your hand in your heart. Put your hand in your heart, bro. Our I'm Father, to you. No, I ain't gonna repeat that to you. I'm gonna listen to you. To come to repentance, Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. Give him a vision that he needs, Jesus. Any addition that he's suffering, Jesus. Any depression, any, any stress, anxiety. For this world is not gonna fulfill him. Not drugs, sex, nothing, nothing pleasure, not nothing but temporary peace in this world. Because God is gives you internal peace, eternal love, and his love is very graceful. What do you mean not right now? Bro, there's always time for God, bro. Look, if you're suffering from any addiction in life, bro, he can take that away from you, bro. Because I once was suffering so much in this world, bro. I thought life was just full of stress. Working, stress. I thought life was just, just trapped, bro. But it's more to it than that because you feel God's love, bro. God is the only one that can fill your heart. It's money. Like, nothing in this world can make you happy, bro. Nothing. Like, people try to look for it. It's all in the money. They'll be happy. But once they have it all, like, they're still cold in their heart, bro. And you could be reading that, bro, and you feel God's presence. I got one at home. You got one at home? Oh, see, it's sure, not a coincidence, bro. Then, bro. Yo, look, so that's what we're preaching the word, bro. The guy really got, he really got offended, you know, just by preaching the word. He started cursing us out. Luigi, what happened, bro? I don't know, bro. Demons manifested, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's cool. You know, I'm not there now. The security and stuff, you know? I could see deep down inside him, he was just stressing. Like, life we wasn't are. going as well for him. because we're glowing in the spirit room, bro. Look, see, so I already know. We got kicked out of Target, so we're back at it at Walmart. Hey, excuse me, brother. You know, Jesus loves you, right? Jesus loves you, bro. He Jesus loves you loves so you, much, bro. bro. Unconditionally, he loves you. Yeah, man. Follow him, bro. He loves you, man. God Amen. bless you. Seek his kingdom, bro, and he's going to honor you so much, bro. If you sacrifice your time, he's going to honor you, bro, because he sees the effort you're putting in to hear his word or to read his word. It's cool, bro. Like, do you have a testimony with God or? I really have to live life. Just trying to go by. I feel that. Just trying to be a good person. Yeah, I feel you, bro. You can be I'm a better you, bro. person than Jesus. What do you think the purpose of life is? Uh, well, I'm a Christian. You're so, a Christian? Yeah. I believe God put us on mm. the to be his disciples. So what do you think gets you into heaven? Well, I guess being a good person, believing in God, mm. my relationships, uh, Mm, mm, mm. You see, I used to think the same thing, bro. Being a good person is what gets you in heaven, doing good deeds. But 
believing in God and having a relationship with Him. Yep. It's like having a exactly. girlfriend. Like exactly. Faith, See, the Bible says we are saved through grace, through faith alone. So yeah. the grace of God is what allowed him to manifest in the flesh and die for us on the cross. And him dying on the cross was a representation of his sacrifice for us because he loved us so much that he wanted us to reconnect with him. Because yeah. you see, he's our creator. He wants an intimate relationship yeah. with us. So as long as we have faith in him and trust in him and know that he lived, he died, and he rose again on the third day and understand that we need him and repent of our sins. Repent doesn't mean you ask for forgiveness. You can do that every night and still go to hell. Repent exactly. means you turn away from them and you follow you Jesus. You know, yeah. and, and you get fed by his word. I'm happy you're a Christian, and I hope you continue to follow him. I've seen in the comments, it's nothing but straight love, but that's all it is, you know. Me and Luigi are just here just to encourage y'all, just, just to follow God, to give him everything. And obviously, first things first, to receive the Holy Spirit, you gotta confess your sins to him, and you gotta, like, truly mean it. You can't just say, like, hey, I, I confess, no. You gotta truly mean it from your heart, and, he, and he'll see the effort that you put in. Cause look, God is, is not a judging God. The only time he's gonna judge you is when he comes back. Right now, he's like a lawyer. He's seeing if you can confess yourself to him and be vulnerable enough to be like, I'm sorry, and seek a relationship with him. Cause he's a loving God. All he wants is love. All he wants is love from you. He wants a connection with you. So be bold, be vulnerable, and seek out to your loving father, and he will answer back with blessings, with everything you need. It's hard to deny your flesh. It's very hard to deny your flesh but with god it's possible yeah this path is for the brave it's easy to sin but it's hard to you know live on this righteous path we're still you know repenting daily repenting is not a one-time thing it's a lifestyle you know what i'm saying i'll go to heavenly father seek him y'all please hey so you believe in god so we make youtube videos spreading the word of god the good news the gospel so i don't know if you knew but the gospel means the good news what's the good news the good news is that jesus died for you and why he died for you because we were sin we're still sinful. He died for us so we, he could build that bridge from us to the Father. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus. We get to the Father through Jesus and accepting him in our heart and understanding that he died for us because he loved us so much. We're sinful, bro. All these, all these sinful things of the world will not please you, bro. I don't know if you come to understand that. Sitting there at night, not not realizing that all these things of the world, that you, the drugs, the money, the sex, everything, all these things, they won't fulfill you. They won't fill you with peace. It's only temporary in the moment. We're all gonna die one day. But you know what? Our soul that God created is eternal. And whether or not you have faith in Him is where your soul is gonna go. Eternal disconnection from God or eternal connection with Him. So God is calling out to you right now, bro. Can I pray for you? Of course. Y'all can smell the alcohol on my breath. I'm still going through stuff. I know yeah, I, I got feel baptized. You, you know, it's a process. It's a process. No, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, when you get baptized, you spiritually battle more. The yeah. devil's out to get yeah, you even you more. Know, when I was breaking in the cars, I was doing all that stuff. I was associated with a lot of gang members. Yeah, you remind yeah. me of my uncle. It's the second yeah, my uncle bro. was, bro. And, like, I know it's illegal right now. Like, right now, I'm strapped. You know, but, like, yeah. you know, it's for my own protection. But, like, I've been going through a lot of stuff, you know, and it's, it's a process, you know. It's yeah. hard. It's hard. Is it okay if I could do a prayer to you so I could deliver you and take those demons up, bro, to get you back on that track with God, Amen, bro. bro? In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray. Okay. Amen. Amen. I don't know why, but for some reason I have like this ability to be able, like I could be able to look into your eyes. Yeah. Give me five minutes, I'll be able to tell you about yourself. Like a friend of mine when I was in high school, I knew she was pregnant before she even knew she was pregnant. And she was mind blown. Like she's like, how do you know? She ended up being pregnant. I told her like what happened that day, earlier in that day. I was like, you had a fight with your parents, didn't you? And it's about a, a boy, is it because you're pregnant? She's like, how do you know I haven't told anybody? I'm able to read people and I'm able to feel that, that energy and I'm able to just take that and just spin it off and be able to give it right back to you. Of yeah, what, yeah. It, what it really is like you may not be able to know what it is but for some reason i can't do it for myself <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't yeah. know why i've tried to do it for myself but just know bro like it's, it's god's power because ev everybody yeah. on this world gives his people like authority and, and and if you're using it for like wickedness or like evil he's gonna yeah. take that away bro that's like if you make music make righteous music that yeah. glorifies his name like he, yeah, he also I makes music, music bro i used to make worldly music too he switched me well, and I, I now I make righteous music bro and it feels way better to make good m music for the glory of god bro yeah like i made one one song and I called it Yahweh, you know. And yeah, yeah, Yahweh and Noe, amen. Yeah, I named it Yahweh. And not a lot of people know the origin of that, you know, of what Yahweh really means, you know. People think that Jesus is his actual real name. Jesus is his real name. It's yeah. actually Yahweh. It stems from somewhere back in Israel. Yeah, you know, ancient times, time. yeah. Ancient times. 
witches that cast like cast demons bro like they cast demons and like manifest demons on people go around like seeking who hasn't been praying who hasn't been getting close to god and then right, whenever you're around a lot of fake idols and a lot of fake stuff like you can take a picture like this that's a portal you know this could be a portal this could exactly be a portal, yes like know? horror movies like, like your eyes what, what, what you what you listen with, to i just had a conversation with this with my dad's wife you know because she's got a lot she's like very dark and demonic and you know all that dark gothic stuff and I was trying to explain to her because she was asking me a lot of questions. And I told her, I was like, you know that that stuff is a portal, right? Like, you don't have to play with it. You don't have to mess with it. But it's still a portal. It's still, you by you possessing it, you're opening. Like, you have to play the Ouija board for it to work. No, you don't. No, you don't. You know, you don't. You own it. You, you, you touch. You can even just touch it. And you're opening a door.